close your eyes and watch your breath. When the breath comes in, know it's coming in. When it goes out, know it's going out. Just try to be on top of the breath right here, right now. Because the mind needs a place to settle in and stay. If it's going to have any strength, if it's going to have any well-being, it has to have a place where it can be still. As the Buddha said, there is no happiness other than peace. And we can think of a lot of things that are not very peaceful that made us happy. But what makes it happy is that it's a place where the mind can rest. And some things give more happiness than others. You can rest with a good memory, but it doesn't last very long. If you rest with the breath, the breath is always here in the present moment. That's something you can rest at with for long periods of time. Because it's only then when the mind has a sense of well-being and it realizes its well-being doesn't have to depend on things outside. It can come from within. We live in a world where there's a lot of change. We get born and then there's aging, there's illness and death. There's gain, there's loss, there's status, loss of status, there's praise, there's criticism, there's pleasure and there's pain. So the world is a bumpy ride. Something sometimes goes up, sometimes it goes down, sometimes it goes up and down just about the same time. And if you're trying to make your happiness depend on that, it doesn't have a good place to stay. It's getting jostled around all the time. But if you can make your happiness depend on the well-being in your mind, that only makes a better place for you to stay right here, but also spreads a good influence out into the world and helps to smooth things out some. So try to stay with this sense of well-being inside. Once you get it going, learn how to care for it and learn how to give it some attention. All too often we have other priorities. We've got to think about this, we want to think about that. But you have to realize this sense of being centered right here, right now, this is the basis for all your well-being. So you want to give, move it up in terms of the priorities so that you're coming from a position of well-being at all times. This is good for you and it's good for the people around you. You'll be sending out a different message, sending out a different energy. You're not grabbing and grasping at things all the time. You're not resentful of things and not being your way. You learn to have a sense of well-being here. That's your strength. From that strength then you can come with goodwill, you can come with sympathy for others. Because you've seen how you've suffered, suffered, but you don't have to suffer that way anymore. You're in a much better position now. So try to m make this center a place where you can settle down and feel at home. And that way you have a home wherever you go.